Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours and truly, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going against Cleo. And this, of course, is an opponent that I battle very frequently because she is always around on my stream for battles. She's a really good NU player, and I enjoy going up against her because she always brings creative sets and can catch me off guard more often than not. And really, now, look at us team here. We have Castform. Um, just stands out really well there, and of course, we got Beartex, one of Sock! Yes, it's a Sock here, um, Luxray and uh, Armaldo. So very threatening team, very offensively heavy, not that bulky, and my team kind of looks the same way, but with not the Rain Dance theme on it as her team actually have. Um, I have Haunter, Barbarical, um, Pyroar, so close to a life part. <laughs> Moile, Rotom, and Go-Goat. Yes, I'm using a Go-Goat. And this Go-Goat is Expert Belt. And very, very strange in set, but it works really well. Um, really threatens a lot of folks out. Uh, can mill drink and can hurt with a lot of power. Uh, big fan of this Pokemon, I really am. And it works really well with Assault Vest too. I think this is actually Assault Vest, thinking about it. Uh, not with the mill drink, but have more utility attacks. But this thing really hits hard. Uh, it's fairly dangerous, and Rotom is my defensive wall. And just looking to her team here, I was fearing that... I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I was really hoping for a cast from lead. I'm gonna start off with Haunter, hoping to hurt something. And we'll take it from there. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. So yeah, as you might have guessed, since I had no idea what to lead with, I'm gonna get kinda catched off guard here with an Armoldo. And uh, I, I don't have a Focus Dash, I'm actually Specs with Trick. I decided to just go for Shadow Ball, just do the damage, hoping for the best, and I do a good chunk of damage, like, there's no way really good denying that, but at the same time, this knockoff is just kind of finish it up, I mean, there is no way Haunter is taking that, and that is how he falls, obviously, and, well, I just can go to Jazz this time, Jazz is uh, a shell smashing barbarical, I'm just gonna go for Razor Shell here, because it's actually my best bet not to try to lose uh, as much HP as possible really, I don't really like that position so Soki is gonna come in and that is actually the Luxray and due to the intimidation it actually gonna take my White Herb which was well oops <laughs> anyway I decided to just go for the EQ just to do damage and it does fair I mean the intimidation kinda gives that away as a defensive set and this Thunderbolt will, will sadly actually kill my Barbarical uh, I did not see that one coming, I thought I could take at least one, but that was not the case. And you know what? Whatevs. It happens. It is what it is. So I'm gonna go to Sarabi, which is actually Mufasa's, um, no, Scar's real name in the Lion King. My opponent just can go for Protect, to play scouting out the moves. Um, I'm just gonna go for Hyper Boys. I hurt everything on her team badly, and I mean badly, with that type of attack. Now. My opponent, of course, will just sack off Luxray. Like I said, her team is really not that bulky, and so goes for me. So it's like a really big domino effect. It basically is which sweeper survives which, and uh, see which one wins in the end. It's really, really exciting. And here's the sock, and you guys know exactly how this works. I have to scout if it is scarfed or not. Of course, this scarf and this EQ will kill. And um, it being scarfed means two things for me. It means one that this thing is most likely um, sturdy, which means of course that we need to break that and being that it is Scarf means of course that it's gone to outspeed the majority of my team which means I can actually utilize that my opponent so I was really predicting here uh, her switch out to the Swana but she actually packs a barrier to resist that hit but what do you know, Sion, the Gogo just coming through kicking the blue tits in the face and that is one dead Swana <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, go go, what a champ. So anyway, come on and slam is gonna come, which is of course damn balls Pokemon, but uh, no, we're gonna call it cast form. Did I set up a tailwind and that's actually really scary? I go for a superpower hoping to kill it, but it has a sash and since she actually showed me the tailwind, I'm basically gonna try to stall this out. I know it's ugly, I know it's never nice to stall, but at the same time, what the hell, I can't have a tailwind effect intact. That means that the sock gets way dangerous. <laughs> way dangerous. Um, so then we go to Rotom. I can tank a hit from this uh, cast from, of course. But she scores confusion, which means that I felt like, eh, 
I can probably sell out the turns a few more times. So I'm gonna go into my cure, which is the mobile, and um, she's actually going for blister this time. Sadly, she does miss here, and I'm just going for sucker punch, finish it off, and the tailwind with this should actually cheat it out. And I'm gonna show my life orb because this is a very very aggressive mobile. Uh, is it called mobile? Mobile? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, the volley bear is gonna come, and I don't fear this guy. I just, I don't. So even if with the icicle crash could have potential of flinching me, it is really not doing enough damage, and luckily it's not flinching me. And this iron head will just eradicate this poor bear. Actually, to have it said, Beartic is really good. I really like Beartic. Um, super strong, has access to Aqua Jet. Really need to use that guy. What a champ. So, anyway, her last Pokemon is the Complex. And like I said, I know for a fact now that this thing is sturdy. And she is forced to go to close combat due to me having rode him around. And basically, we can seal this deal with the Sucker Punch just to break the sturdy. And then I can bring in whatever I like to just to finish it off. And I decided, of course, to finish this in style because. What other Pokemon has been showcasing its brawn this battle? If not the Zion, the Gogo, the Beast, the Monster, the most terrific Pokemon I know. I hate Gogo so much, but I can't deny the supremacy of this Pokemon. What strength and bulk is this thing bringing? It is bringing all kinds of hell. And gonna finish this battle horse with the Horn Leech. And that is GG and one dead sock. It is always a pleasure seeing Sork going down. Not because my opponent is using one, I don't really care about that. I mean, Cleo is a very, very good player. But Sork gives me always trouble, so me being able to deal with it, just, it's nice. It's, it's real nice, I love that. So anyway, Cleo, thank you for this battle. I thought it was really exciting. It's a very fast-paced battle, but it definitely showcased both our team's power. And I thought it was really interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this battle. And like I said, it was a very, very, one of those rare cases where both teams really lack walls, and the th direct result to that is that it just falling apart really early. I had a good defensive wall, but never really got to use that. Like, Rotom really didn't do anything to spell whatsoever. But that was like my real own response to anything that could have hurt me. But, um, I don't know, things kind of worked my way this time. Uh, I had a good rolls. I of course was very lucky with the go go actually kicking the swan out of out of it. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was really funny. I was some kind of somehow sad that my opponent Cleo didn't get his chance to use Rain Dance. I really believe that Beartic could have been a massive threat to my team had uh, it not been unri unrivaled like that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. I thought it was a very good game. I hope to have more like games like this in the future with Cleo. She always, like I said, bring good stuff and good ideas, so make sure to actually give her team a good go. It should definitely work in favor. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching as always. Of course, make sure to leave a like if you like this battle. If you didn't like it, just do it anyway, because it makes me happy. And I like being happy. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, sky is the limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.